and welcome back to the channel let me get my camera straight here and on this video I'm writing the lyric graffiti but I want to talk about the lyric graffiti X now it's a bike that I purchased a while ago but haven't gotten yet because nobody's gotten them yet because they have not been shipped to us yet but they are getting very very close so we should be getting our bikes within the next three or four weeks I'm hoping by the first week of October and I wanted to talk a little bit about the bike and so I pretty much have a good idea now of range for the bike I'm riding now, Lyric Graffiti, which has two uh, 15 amp hour batteries, or 17.5 I should say, hour batteries, which is 35 amp hour total. And they're 52 volt. And so it looks like throttle only, which I think most of us on this Lyric Graffiti, the original Lyric Graffiti do anyway, but throttle only. And riding 25 miles per hour-ish, say between 20 and 30 miles an hour, but mostly 25 range. It looks like you can get on one battery, and this is dual battery, uh, approximately 22 miles or no a little bit more than that maybe close to 25 miles on one battery and that's riding at 25 not going gung-ho full out you know so so conservatively say 20 miles so that means with these two batteries, 35 amp hour, you can pretty good bet to get uh, 40 miles if you're riding in the 25 miles per hour range. So thinking about the Graffiti X with its 60 uh, volt, 40 amp hour, I'm hoping to get with that bike 50 miles. And that's riding, say, just a slight faster, say we're riding 30 miles an hour, average. If you can ride 30 miles per hour and get 50 mile range out of that battery, uh, I would be happy with that. But uh, until we get the bike, we don't know, but that's, that's what I think we're gonna be able to do with that. And I'm hoping to get that, so. So maybe riding 35 miles an hour, you're probably going to be closer to the 40 miles. And that's, that's perfectly fine. If you can get 40 miles riding at 35 miles an hour, then yeah, I'm good with that. But uh, this bike, I've seen the final uh, pictures of the final production. And this bike looks amazing spectacular i love the look of this bike and um like i've said before in comments that if this bike rides anything like it looks we've got ourselves one hot bike on our hands and uh it's highly anticipated especially probably by me but i'm sure everybody that's ordered one is uh excited about getting their new graffiti x and also i'm sure there's people sitting on the fence waiting to see just what this bike is going to be like once it hits everyone's hands and the production model is there for everyone to try um, and then we'll get some video on the bike and show what it can do and maybe there's some cons of things that it doesn't do so well but I know uh, 
there were some videos of the uh, pre-production model that were out there that were uh, showing some of the flaws with the bike and uh, I mean one of the things that stood out was uh, the bike cutting out at warm temperatures or hot temperatures I should say because let's face it 100 and plus, 100 plus let's just say degrees is hot but um, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of 100 degree rides but depending on where you are no, that that could be often your summer temperature you know it's 100 plus um, if you're in Arizona or something like that or California but uh, I think they've done some testing on it and they say the bike seems to be fine at riding at those temperatures for an extended period so I just want the bike to be able to consistently ride say you wanted to do like I was mentioning a longer ride and you were going to go at speeds of 35 miles an hour I want it to be able to do it and do it for several miles and I want it to be able to hill climb and not have any issues at all with hill climbing be able to just walk up that hill like I shouldn't say walk up that hill I mean fly up that hill without any issues and I just want to see overall if it feels anything like this graffiti original model as far as smoothness it's going to be heavier it's probably about 40 pounds heavier than this bike so it's a big difference weight wise And uh, I want to check the uh, the smoothness of the ride with those tires and the full suspension. So I think I'll be able to tell pretty quick um, how I feel about the bike, but I'm anticipating it to ride similar to this bike here, only with more power, speed, and I think more distance, be able to go a little further on a 40 amp hour battery. So those are the things I'm uh, expecting and hoping for. And also, uh, I know that, like I mentioned there, it's going to be a heavier bike, a good 40 pounds heavier. So it won't be as nimble, I wouldn't think, as this bike just because of that weight, but I'm expecting it to be a good well planted ride on the street and looks like we'll be able to lean pretty nice into our turns with those tires that they've got on there the CST dual sport and I'm looking forward to having no flat tires I don't want any issues like that I think this bike is going to be trusted for that And uh, I chose the black bike. I know a lot of people like the green and the blue. The blue comes with the tan seat. Both black and green bike, yeah, black and green bikes come with the black seat. Looks like the seat, they've done some stuff on the seat too, some repair, not repair, but some added uh, padding to the seat. It looks very plush, thick. Uh, so we're gonna have to see what that's like and I'm gonna like um, having to be able to sit back a little further than this bike I mean I'm not a real tall guy I'm five foot nine but the seat on this bike has this the little step up there for the passenger and that's where I sit right back to but I'd like to go back another inch or two if I could and um, but then I'd be sitting on that bump and I'd be too far back and I don't want to do that so that's why I think this other bike having the longer seat without that little step up until you get to the very end of the seat is going to be nice for me 
So yeah, a 60 volt, 7200 watt peak, 3000 watt motor. With a BAC uh, 2000 uh, controller AASI. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. 40 amp hour battery and can't wait. It's exciting. It's like Christmas uh, for a kid again, and that'd be me. And that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. Also, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be uh, uh, commenting on this video or any other video, you can do that. Just uh, leave a comment in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this ride. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.